up guys this is the bc1 it's a brand new security camera from easy viz and i'm so excited to try this out i've got a detached garage in the back i don't have any camera coverage in that area so i'm going to be setting it up there this essentially is the world's first wire free security camera that has a 365 day battery life which for me it's amazing because if i'm just going to charge this then I don't need to worry about it for a very long time. And I'm always a big fan of wire-free technology so that I don't need to do a lot of drilling and do a lot of electrical work, which you might need to get a local tradesman or you know someone that's very competent in home DIY. So I'm gonna show you some of the key specifications other than a very long battery life, show you what's in the box, show you how to set it up onto any wall. It's both compatible indoors and outdoors if that's something that you'd like. And then also give you some sample clips of how the quality is on this 1080p camera. So let's take a look. On the side of the box, you can see some key highlights here. This has color night vision, so I will be showing you some sample clips at nighttime to show how great quality that is. Full HD, accurate human detection. Now this has PIR, which is passive infrared. And essentially what that does, it detects heat and motion together to showcase that there's a human shape rather than maybe you might have like some objects flying around in the wind and that wouldn't be detected by the motion, which I think is great. There's also a microphone for two-way talk as well in case you wanted to speak to anyone. IP66, there's a micro SD card slot. It can store up to 256 gigabytes. So I will be putting a card slot in this. Now this is a massive 12,900 milliamp hour battery, which I think is great. And that will last approximately one year. And to me, that is the best on the market. So, you know, there's active defense mechanisms as well. So you can pretty much be sure this is the best security camera to buy. There's two in here. This is a duo pack. So let me go ahead and open the box. Okay, you've got yourself a quick start guide, some usual information. This here is the hub that everything will be recorded on and this needs to be connected to your home Wi-Fi. So you need to make sure that this is in a good location near your wireless network and that's near to the cameras just to get the best coverage. These are the cameras and you can see how very compact these are. They're not made of any lightweight material. They are very heavy duty. It's solid metallic and you know this would very much withstand pretty much any type of weather condition. There's also some lights there on the sides. You've got the mounting screw just there at the bottom. This is the charging port right there. It's micro USB. Then you also have a button at the top that can sync it with the hub. So two cameras. You've got your 360 degree rotational mounting connectors. You have your power plug and micro USB charging cable. Two packs of screws with the plugs that I'll be drilling into the wall outdoors. You've got yourself some guidance stickers as well on where to drill. So you require two holes top and bottom to mount the camera. And then you also have the plug for the hub. So I'm gonna go out and set this up and drill the holes and connect it using the screw base. Just a couple of things to mention about the bases. So you have two options. So this is the one with the screw. Now to do this, it's pretty straightforward. You just take out the inside part of this. And this is what you'll be connecting to the wall when you've drilled the holes using that sticker that I showed you earlier with the two marks on it. And then once you've done that, you basically screw this back onto this and then that will be very solid. It's not something that anyone can just rip out of the wall. And then obviously you have the screw at the bottom to connect to the bottom of the camera as its base. The second base, and this is an option that you might not want to use, but if you want to use this camera indoors, then you have a magnetic base. So this magnetic gray dome here is a huge magnet and it's very strong. So if I connect this to the bottom of this camera, it's super solid and you need a little bit of force to really get it out. I wouldn't really use this outdoors because someone can, you know, take your camera and steal it. But if you wanted to use this indoors, this is a great option. It gives you a lot of flexibility to position the camera very easily to wherever you like. So what I'll do first is fully charge up these cameras. Then I will download the EasyViz app and show you case to you guys how the app works a little bit, connect it all together, make sure they're all synced, connected to my Wi-Fi then set this up on the wall in my back garden and then show you guys some sample clips that give you a good indication of what the audio and the video quality is like on this camera. So let's just jump in. Okay, so the first step you need to follow is to connect the base station to your wireless router. So you need to use an ethernet cable to connect it. Once you've done that, you go onto the EasyViz app, you hit the plus button to add a device. 
select your relevant device from here and then all you need to do is scan the QR code that's at the bottom of the base station. And then you just run through the rest of the steps until this is connected. And then make sure you have both of your cameras in close proximity of the base station so you can sync them together before you go out and install it. So the pairing and the sync have completed. I've got the two cameras connected to the base station. So just to give you a quick run through of the app, BC1 I've got there listed twice for both of the cameras. If you go in, you can do live view by hitting the play button. So if I just do that now, at the moment, it's just pointed to the ceiling and you can actually hear it play back through my phone and the speakers on there. You can also go back and look at the video history. You can speak through the microphone, you can set the alarm and you can change the definition. And whilst it's on a live view, you can also do a snapshot, take a picture or do some live recording and capture that footage and save it to your device. So the next thing I wanna do is now set it up, drill the holes in my back garage and set the cameras up and give you some sample video clips to see the quality on what this looks like both in daytime and nighttime and also some audio samples coming through the device as well right so now i'm in the garden i've got all my tools i've got the drill i've got the hammer for the roll plugs so this is my detached garage now i'm going to be pointing it to the side of the house so there'll be one camera facing toward the gates back there so this is great for security and then on the side of the garage, this will give me good visibility of the entire garden. So from here. Now, as you can see, I've put up the stickers already in preparation for the drilling. So I'm gonna go ahead, drill those two holes and then start connecting the cameras. All right guys, so as you can see, I've now very easily connected both cameras. I've got one facing the garden and I've got one facing the side of the house. It's pretty easy. It's connected to Wi-Fi already. I did that at the base station, inside the app as well. Let's say for example, going to garage one, hit play. There you go, it's super clear. You can see live playback. I can go full screen like this. If I just go in front of it. Of course, you need to make sure you have a very strong Wi-Fi signal to be able to get smooth footage. So you can uh, take video recordings, you can take photo snapshots, you can speak through it. It's just pretty much exactly what you expect from a security camera like this. But the fact that this is so clear, I'm just amazed by that. Now, I wanted to give you guys some sample clips of downloading them from the camera itself and showcasing you guys how it looks if you was to transfer it to your phone or your computer. So let's take a look at a few samples now. This is what the audio quality is like if I'm speaking directly to the camera from about two meters away. This is the standard definition. This is the high definition. And this one is full HD. Now the sun has gone down. It is actually quite dim. It's dull. It's dark. And it's super clear in this video clip as well. So I'm quite impressed. And what I want to do is wait a little bit more until it's pitch black just so you guys can see the quality of the night color vision on this camera. Okay, so as you can see, it's pitch dark. It's 10 o'clock at night. I'm gonna to walk towards the cameras and what happens is at nighttime, you'll get the spotlights that come on automatically when it detects motion. So let me walk towards the camera and you'll see it light up. There we go, super bright. I'm gonna to go to the other one. There we go. And it picks up human detection, so it automatically turns on. And this is what makes the quality super clear. So let's take a look at that clip. Now, if you guys can see, there's some bright lights that come on on the camera. 
and it's pitch dark, it's 10 o'clock at night time and you can see it's super clear because as soon as a human detection is picked up by the camera, these bright lights come on and you're able to see everything clearly, hence why you have night color vision. Alright guys, so I'm so impressed with the quality as you just saw on those clips and I've got my micro SD card put into the base station now so I can go back and play back all of the motion detected video footage from the app. All you have to do is hit the library button on the bottom right hand side and there you can see I've been using it for a few days now. I can go back on the different days and play back any of the clips. So if I just play one of these, hit playback, you can see who's this guy walking around in my garden. That's my dad. And it's very smooth playback and you can see the quality is great. I can go full screen. If you wanted to actually sign up to the cloud account, you can actually do that as well. Rather than having a micro SD card, you can pay monthly for the EasyViz cloud services to store all of your clips on there. So that's it. This comes in just around 230 pounds. I've got the link in the description below. If you did like this video and you found it very useful for the EasyViz BC1 Duo Pack, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I've got plenty of tech videos and home gadget videos like this coming out in the near future. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.